You want those? No, I don't need them. We should, be. we should move them. Oh, unless we need them.
um, the next composer of the water is Juan Felipe Guerra. Richard Thompson. Oh, Richard Thompson. I'm so Richard Thompson is a performer and composer whose work encompasses jazz and third string composition. Originally from Aberdeen, Scotland, Mr. Thompson made his debut at the Purcell Room in Queen Elizabeth Hall, which is located in London, England. He's appeared in live broadcasts from BBC Jazz and Classical Radio and Italian National Television and Radio. Additionally, Mr. Thompson has given concerts at venues like La Bucola Scala in Milan, Italy. Mr. Thompson's orchestral appearances include concerts with the Harlem Festival Orchestra, the Boston Orchestra in Corral, the Glasgow Chamber Orchestra, and the Aberdeen Chamber Orchestra. Mark Meher was an arranger, lecturer, musicologist, pianist, teacher, and writer. Her research was focused on the music of the African diaspora, and she collected the main songs from Mexico, the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, Cuba, and various other locations throughout the United States. Through her lecture recitals with baritone William Howard Richardson, Hare was one of the first scholars to bring Louisiana Creole song to public attention and was the first woman of color to participate in the Boston Public Library's concert lecture series. She wrote books, plays, and contributed to multiple publications like the Musical Observer, Musical America, Musical Quarterly, and The Crisis, for which she edited a column on music and the arts for years. In 1927, she established the Allied Arts Center in Boston. The program was focused on fostering arts education and the artistry of the Black youth. Hare is best known for her book, Negro Musicians and Their Music, which is still a highly regarded today. Oh. 
Antonio Carlos Gomez is heralded as one of Brazil's most important composers to date. He was the son of a bandmaster and learned to play many instruments under his tutelage. He started composing at age 15 and wrote his first mass at 18, which was performed in a local church by his family musicians. He would go on to study at the Imperial Conservatory in Rio de Janeiro, where he would be introduced to the music of Bonini, Rosini, and Verdi. Gomez found international success in 1870 when his opera, Il Carnet, was produced at the Scala in Milan, Italy. He was also the first composer of the New World to be accepted by the European opera scene. Although he is mostly known for his operas, Gomez also composed revolutions, sacred music, hymns, orchestral work, and songs. So I found out about Carlos Gomez probably two, three years ago, and through him I found a whole world of Afro-Brazilian composers that we don't actually want to talk about. Um, this piece I'm going to sing, Quien Sabe, is a Latino, which is essentially a Portuguese take off of a heart song. Um, it's beautiful. It's, uh, as, it's probably the most classical kind of feel piece on my cycle. Um, a song cycle called um, A 
A Virginia native, Marquis Ali Garrett is an assistant professor of music in choral activities at the University of Nebraska Lincoln in the Glenn Coral School of Music. He earned his PhD in music education at Florida State University. An active conductor, Dr. Garrett has served as a guest conductor or clinician in several schools, church, community, and festival slash honors choirs throughout the country. In addition to his conducting classes at UNL, he leads conducting workshops at other universities and conferences. A versatile voice that performs both as a baritone and co-tenor, Dr. Garrett has served with several community, church, and university groups, both as a chorister and soloist. He was the counter soloist in the European premiere of Dan Forst, Jubilee Dale in Limerick Island. Currently, he sings with First Plymouth Congregational Church, Festival Singers of Florida, and the Jason Maxford Singers. Dr. Garrett is an avid composer of choral and vocal music whose compositions have been performed to acclaim by high school, all state, collegiate, and professional choirs, including Seraphic Choir and the Oakland University Aeolians, GIA Publications, Bolton Music, Santa Barbara Music, and others have published several of his compositions. Before I start, I just want to make one quick note. Um, the last piece for this uh, half the show is called A New Tuesday with Two Being Good. Um, the French might sound weird, it's because it's medieval pronunciation, it's a medieval process. So just a quick note. Thank you. 
We can get that too. We can get that too. Good, good looks. Good looks. I know, I know. That sideways view is gonna look nice. But heck yeah, heck yeah. No, no, no. Uh, we need to make sure that's not working. Like, let me know. That's the best way I can do
Born in Pittsburgh, PA, Dr. Cynthia Cosette Lee is a highly talented composer, flautist, author, and educator. To date, she has a catalog of more than 150 compositions for vocal, orchestral, choral, chamber, string, and wind ensembles, as well as more than a dozen flute works and four operas. In her compositional work, Dr. Lee primarily spotlights stories that were hidden until now as a strong emphasis on themes of Black history and Christianity. Notably, Dr. Lee is the first African American woman to graduate from the University of Pennsylvania with a Master's of Arts degree in music composition. Additionally, she is proud to have studied with composers like George Opper, George Crumb, Ron Blank, Leonardo Balda, William Hoskins, and Joseph Wilcox Jenkins. Dr. Lee is, I like to talk to Dr. Lee and her sister, Hazel Yemi, um, because they remind me of my aunts. <laughs> the song, I mean, the song cycle album, Singing Day, it actually is a world premiere. Um, it's called The Doctor's Song Cycle. The first song is called The Way. It's 
inspired by um, Dr. Hayes and family. I was reading was that the sister's poem um, that she wrote while she was doing her um, residency in Illinois school. Um, one of her colleagues died, and she wants to wake and was appalled by how the colleagues showed sympathy because they never really showed sympathy to the dead colleague during his life. Um, the second song, The Hallway Piece that Dr. Sarawak, is literally about a hallway in the doctor's office. Um, Dr. Sarawak is a very well renowned or PhD, uh, you know, the doctor. Um, and he's treated many, many professionals, including Carl Barati, um, Julie Andrews, and Bobby Lavelli, as well as um, allegedly. Why am I escaping this one? <laughs>
is my only experience with the community in college. I essentially took the virtual school and put it into a program and made the sheet music. Um, the last thing I have to honor is, well, I'm not here, but Harry Lawrence Freeman. Harry Lawrence Freeman was a pioneering composer, writer, conductor, mentor, and teacher. Known as the color blonde, Freeman composed over 21 operas and was the first African American to write an opera successfully produced. His best known work, Voodoo, a grand opera in three acts, was revived in June of 2015 by Morningside Opera, Harlem Opera Theater, and the Harlem Chamber Players in Miller Theater, which is located on Columbia University's campus. Together with his wife, actress and singer Charlotte, otherwise known as Carlotta Louise Thomas, Freeman founded the Friends of Music Guild, the Negro Grand Opera Company, the Freeman School of Grand Opera, and the Freeman School of Music. The Freeman's Brownstone also served as a gathering place during the Harlem Renaissance for such notables as Mary Anderson and Lena Horne. In the late 1940s, Freeman sought to found yet another organization that would promote Black composers and singers the African American Opera Foundations, but his efforts were cut short by his death on March 24, 1954, at age 85. This piece is an aria made from the opera. Um, it is from an opera called Nat and Paul. If you're in the program, you can see the whole synopsis of the opera. Um, the song, Even Home at Any Time, is the only aria Um, and she's essentially expressing her happiness that there is calm and peace. And with this, I hope that I can be in the place of
serve my customers. And um, I started really attending things with careers, started doing the beginning of it. We get creamed together, we have all our OKs, we have our videos, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so I'm learning a lot from you guys on the career building. Um, and especially because due to the I hmm, to be very honest, I wasn't sure I was going to have a side two weeks ago. Um, due to administrative error, the hall was double booked. And I was scrambling trying to find a place to actually have my recital. And by the grace of God, this place was open. So I am so thankful. And this really, it's not about me. It's about these composers. It's about love because it's their name. So thank you again. Um, thank you for your support. And I hope that you guys all have a good day. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. And so